Okay, it's Friday. Welcome back to the vlog, everyone. I literally just closed out my other one. We are almost out of chicken, so I am about to throw some more in the sous vide um, before I take a nap. So I am setting the temperature for 150. And then I'm setting the time for two and a half hours. And that's what we do. And we start. That goes on. And while that's doing that, I am going to season and vacuum seal my chicken. And then that will go in there once it's up to temp. And then I'm going to take a nap. Y'all, I just took the craziest nap. I keep calling them crazy naps. It's because I am going into the deepest depths of the REM. I have the, what's past REM? I am way down in there. I am in a coma during these naps. So that was incredible. That's why I love Fridays because my time is my own. And I normally, after I drop off Reagan, I go straight to the gym um, and then I come home in the middle of the day. But I never, when I think about it, I don't think I ever really nap, but I was like, you know, I need to nap. I slept for a good two and some change. I don't know, a long time. I mean, it's almost 1 p.m. now. I mean, now I've been up for like an hour, but almost an hour I woke up, I ate, whatever. I am gonna try this today, Prime Tropical Punch. I tend to like Tropical Punch flavored things. Um, like I said, it was only 99 cents at the store. So even though I do have all my other energy drinks, like this is still cheaper, like than the value of the ones that I already own. So I'm like, you know what? If I'm going to drink one, I'm going to drink a 99 cent one and not a $2 one. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. I felt like there was something in my mouth. Like there was solid sediments but i think that was just the um carbonation this is pretty good i like this it's 10 calories though so i probably wouldn't frequent this at full price um but for 99 cents i'll probably go snag a couple more tropical punch flavor i'm into it they have a lot of other flavors that i don't know that i want like there's a lemon lime i as much as i love lemon lime like i love sprite i love starry um i don't tend to love lemon lime other things like i don't love lemon lime gatorade i mean i guess that's really the only other thing I don't really ever get the lemon lime Celsius. I mean, I'll drink it, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm going to see what other flavors they have. This is pretty good. It's worth 99 cents. I mean, honestly, I'd spend $2 on this, um, depending on what my other options are. That store tends to have 99 cent bangs and 99 cent primes, but the bangs are always weird flavors, like like flavors I don't want to get. Um, so I probably won't be getting those, but prime energy. We'll see how practice goes. Um... I'm just going to run skills. I'm not going to do like try to do a full out or anything, but I'm just going to like rep some skills and I have an hour of cardio and I got to eat again before I go um, lift. I think I'm just going to lift at burn boot camp since I haven't really done any lifting besides back once this week. It's a full body strength day at burn. So I'll do a little bit of back, a little bit of legs, a little bit of arms, shoulders, chest, you know, a little bit of everything. So that's the situation. And then I'll still have some free time, hopefully, before I got to pick up Reagan. Cheers. Okay, so this is unrelated to anything, but I'm at this intersection that I had asked you guys at, asked you guys about before. Like, am I supposed to go? Or are they supposed to go? I just stopped turning on my blinker, so they wait for me because they think I'm going straight. Um, and then I turn, and it works like a charm every time. We don't have to do the like, no, you go, no, you go, no, you go. Whose turn is it? Whose turn is it? Because if they think I'm going straight, I like. And we all know that if I'm going straight, they have to wait for me. Um, so uh, that's why I just stopped turning on my blinker, and then I just turn. <laughs> Um, based on all the comments, I'm, it's my turn anyway, so that's just my surefire way to make sure that they are yielding to me, as they should, okay? Um, okay, so I'm drinking this, and I know I just said it's good, and it is good. Um, it is a little, it almost tastes, it doesn't, it, okay, it does not taste like this, but it reminds me. It's giving chewable vitamin. Like, the flavor is so concentrated that it's almost a little bit too much. Like it's a good flavor, but I'm almost just like, I need like, I need to dilute this. Um, so I'm probably not gonna finish it, which is, which is fine. I actually rarely finish my energy drinks anyway. How much caffeine is in this? This is my problem, y'all. I don't even read these labels. I just start grabbing shit. Oh, there's electrolytes in it. Maybe that's why it tastes like that. Cause it's like salt, like salty kind of. There's 200 milligrams of caffeine. Yeah, I don't, I don't need the full, I don't need the full can. Um, but anyway, ugh, I just love, it. the sun is out, it's 90 degrees outside. Y'all know, I keep talking about how much I love the sun. And I know for some people like this kind of weather, like I know Shantae likes it cause she, um, you know, lived in Scottsdale, Scottsdale, wherever, Arizona. 
that's what it's like where I live. Like, obviously, the burn people know exactly where I live because y'all live here too. But we're in a valley. We're in a desert and a valley. We're uh, we're basically in here boiling. Um, like it's only it's mid June and it's 90 degrees. Like by mid July, mid August, it's gonna be 105, probably 110, maybe because global warming. Arizona's already hit their first 110 degree day. Anyway, but I love it. Like I love being hot, being in the sun. Like it just brings me to life and I am it like immediately put me in a better mood not that I was in a bad mood I was just like tired exhausted like kind of just feeling prep and as soon as I got in the car I was just like just vibing with my life I don't like turn on music in the car I wasn't recording a video until I got to that intersection I'm just like I love the sun <laughs> so when in doubt get some sun if you live somewhere gloomy like find some sun if there's no sun where you live um get a happy light so okay now I'm sidebarring again sidebar to the sidebar to the sidebar um when I lived in Oregon when I live in Portland my doctor told me she recommended to me because I was like uh yeah this weather's trash and it's giving me seasonal depression for the whole year because it's like this the whole year um she recommended that I get a happy light it's just a UV light that you put in your room in your house whatever and she was like sit in a room with this for 30 minutes a day it will make you feel better I promise you um and then obviously I was taking a vitamin D supplement but Y'all be amazed at how big of a difference it actually does make in your life. If you don't get some sun, get some sun. I'm at the gym. So, here's my favorite part about coming to the gym at this time. Um, when I can, which is pretty much only on Fridays. Is because Kids Club is closed. Which means, just in general, it's less busy right now. Because during the hours that Kids Club is open, like, there's just regular people who are coming to the gym during those hours. But there's also parents who have to come during those hours at this time of day like it's limited to people who can't or who don't need to bring kids um so the gym's just a lot slower at this time um so this room is empty i mean it might not stay empty but in general the gym is just slower at this time because kids club is closed so anyway i'm wrapping up my wrists i'm ready to go i'm only gonna work skills it's 140 i was trying to get to boot camp by the 330 camp but with an hour of cardio like that would only give me like 30 minutes right now on skills which might be enough but it might not be enough, and I don't want to rush my skills just to get to boot camp. If I have to go to 4.30, I'll go to 4.30. It is what it is. Um, so, we'll see. I'm feeling good, like I said, in the car. I'm in a good mood. I feel energized. Um, so, hopefully, it's a really good practice. Is this janky? I literally get a chair. I do this when I'm at Burn Boot Camp, too. I get a chair. Because sitting on the floor, I won't be able to see my tripod. Or, like, I won't be able to see my camera from where it is in the tripod because it's too high. I'm not taking it out of the tripod every single time. And I don't know why I think it's so funny that I feel like I need to sit in a chair. I feel like I'm a director or something. Um, anyway, just ran one random section. I just decided it would be my first section that I ran. And it was amazing. It went literally perfectly. Like it went the way <clears throat> that I wanted to go on stage. Right, because there's different levels. There's like, I can't do that on stage. There's, I would be fine if that happened on stage. And there was, that's how I want to execute this. It was that one. So good start. Um, I'm just going to keep going. It's only been literally 60 seconds, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, so practice is going really well. There have only been a couple things that have been like kind of like a little bit of mistakes, but I mean, you're going to have mistakes in your practice. It's been mostly really good um, and executed really well. So it's 2.30 right now. I really wanted to be on the Stairmaster by 3.30, but that's just not going to happen. Um, I mean, it's 2.24. It's 2.24, and I want it to be on the Stairmaster by 2.30. That's not going to happen. I have more than six minutes worth of work to do, but it is what it is. I'll just get on there. When I get on there, I'll just go to the 4.30 boot camp and just move on with my life. Um, I'll probably actually start here and do, like, a couple shoulder movements because I happen to know that the workout today is only one shoulder exercise. So I'll probably do a couple shoulder exercises here then go to boot camp and do the rest like i said it's like a couple back exercises a couple leg exercises it's like a little bit of everything um but i feel really really good about how today is going right now i'm about to run the first half of it uh, there's one section that just tires me the hell out and it is my push-up sequence through to my standing back tuck that section like the push-ups through the back tuck it literally goes push up push up push up push up it's four different push-ups forward roll jump tuck that probably six seconds 10 seconds is the most tiring part of my entire routine and it's about in the middle so i'm gonna run the first half up to it so i can do it tired 
and I'm also gonna run the second half, but starting with it, so I can do it fresh, but then do everything else after it. So I'm literally just gonna do each of them once. Uh, well, I'm not gonna do them once, I'm gonna hit them once. So hopefully that only takes one try on each, but I'm not walking out of here till I, till I land them both or hit them both. Um, because I do have time, like ultimately I don't even have to go to boot camp today. I could just stay here and lift. So I want to go to boot camp. I still have time to finish all of this and do cardio and go to boot camp. But the top priority is nailing this part of my routine or these parts of my routine. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I feel pretty good. I actually feel really good. I feel more than pretty good. I feel really good. Um, I'm just trying to keep my head on straight because this is where it's easy to, it's easy to unravel. It is very easy to unravel right now, like in this part of prep. Um, and I'm just like, don't do it, Andrea. You've unraveled before and you weren't happy with the results. Like, the time is gonna pass regardless. And this is, this is my sermon, I guess. I'm having a sermon even though I should be practicing. The time is going to pass no matter what. <clears throat> People always do that. Like when it comes to lifestyle and bodybuilding, like, but especially lifestyle, oh, it's too late, or I'm not in shape enough, or that's the one I hear people the most say to boot camp, oh, I'm not in shape enough. So in, in a year of not doing anything, are you gonna get in better shape, in shape enough to come back to boot camp? Like, no, the year is gonna happen regardless, and in a year, you're gonna wish that you had a year of progress and not a year of feeling sorry for yourself and wishing you were in better shape. You're not gonna get in better shape just by letting the time go by. The time is gonna go by, period. Um, people, I remember people used to say that like about school, starting school league, like, yeah, but if I go back to school now, like I'm gonna be 40, right? You're gonna be 40 either way. You're gonna be 40 with a degree or 40 still trying to figure out what you're doing. Like, <clears throat> so that's just what I have to, like, Andrea, you're getting on stage no matter what. In four weeks, like four weeks is four weeks, whether you work during that four weeks or not. So you get to decide in your daily habits, in your daily actions, in your daily effort, what you want four weeks from now to look like. Because I don't get my four week results four weeks from now. I get my four week results from today, from what I do today. Um, that's just, Overnight success doesn't happen overnight. It happens in days and weeks and months and years of showing up consistently. So that's just like, Andrea, don't unravel, don't unravel, don't unravel. So about to do these sections, hopefully just one a piece. Get on the treadmill, or I'll probably do the stairs. Probably do the stairs for 20, then do the treadmill for 40, or maybe the elliptical. I don't really like the elliptical. I've already talked about this. I don't like the elliptical because I can't put my phone on the screen. Like, on, there's no thing right there for me to put my phone. Um, so I can't like watch YouTube, and I really, really, really need to watch Brittany's show day vlog. And I feel like there's other stuff I need to catch up on, so. Oh my gosh, y'all, I am so tired. Um, it's a six o'clock and I still haven't gone home like from my gym situation. So I went to Powerhouse, worked on routine stuff for a while, then did an hour of cardio. Then I went to burn boot camp and did a full body strength workout. So now I'm finally on my way home. I actually just stopped at the dentist to pick up the form. The form, the final form that clears Reagan to start preschool or whatever, TK. And I am traumatized a little bit. Like, I can't believe my little baby is going to be going to elementary school. It's crazy. Um, but anyway, I'm super hungry. I need this post-workout meal. Like, yesterday, I'm so glad I already cooked my sweet potatoes. Um, so I just have to, like, microwave it for a minute versus having to, I mean, microwave it for, like, six minutes. <laughs> Every minute counts when you're this hungry. Um, but, yeah, I think I'm going to combine two meals because it's already six o'clock. So I might just basically double my protein because I'm supposed to have chicken and sweet potato for my post-workout but then I also have still chicken and salad um so I might just you know double my chicken and then have sweet potato and salad it's gonna be a heavy meal but again it's already six like if I eat right now by the time I eat again like it's gonna already be eight and I'm really trying hard not to eat past eight um because that food it's just not breaking down like it it's still realistically is it still in my <clears throat> excuse me is it still in my stomach when I wake up in the morning, no, but it's sure as hell is still in my body. <clears throat> so, anyway, I wish these people would use blinkers. Like, why are you speeding to pass me? First off, this person did not use a blinker. And then they're trying to speed past me when I need to get over. But by the time I, like, turned on my, or was about to turn on my blinker to go over, they were, like, right next to me. Like, sir, where are you going? Where are you going? And as soon as this light turns right on, I'm going to go. If I was in Tennessee, I wouldn't do this because people in Tennessee are trigger happy. You get road rage, they'll shoot you. Uh, but luckily, I live in California <laughs> where people ain't like gun happy like that. I mean, people have guns. I have a gun, but 
I don't carry it. I don't carry it, and I sure as hell am not going to shoot somebody at a stoplight. Um, anyway, that was a complete sidebar. I got in front of them. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I just need to eat my food early. I got to stop eating late because it's messing with my weight. Hey, why do you don't say what? Hey, you don't say what? It is Saturday the 15th. It is Aurelia show day. Aurelia show day. Um, I actually had planned to go down. Literally, like, right now I would be driving down. Or probably a little bit earlier if I would have been going there. Um, but I forgot. I think I had mentioned this. I had double booked myself because Reagan has a birthday party to be at. Um, so that's where we're going. We're going to a birthday party. And muscle contest, I forgot. They do their pre-judging and finals so close together. Like, finals are at 2. So... I am not going to make it to finals. If finals were at four, like a normal show, I probably would make it. Like I would leave the birthday party a little bit early um, and I would go to San Diego and I would go watch finals, um, especially because I do know also one of the wellness pros competing. Um, so like, and I've never, I've never been to a muscle contest show in California since we've lived here. We've lived here a year and a half and muscle contest has shows. It feels like every weekend. I mean, they're not every weekend, but I mean, muscle contest has at least one show per month. Um, and I haven't been to any of them. Ruben's been to a few of them. He actually, the show that he won last year was a muscle contest in Anaheim. Um, so I really wanted to go, but couldn't make it happen today. So it is what it is. Um, but we are headed there. I ate a meal before going. So I just had chicken, veg. I'm drinking this. Um, and I'm also bringing water. And I just got to stay on track. Like I said before, this is just the part of prep that is just brutal. Like... It, and brutal's relative, right? Because I'm sure there's people that feel the way that I feel and they're like, you're not experiencing anything, right? But then just like I talked about with first time competitors having such a low threshold, there's people that would not survive where I'm at right now. And I'm hanging on for dear life. Um, it's just in general, like low energy and like a little bit of brain fog. Just like, and, and honestly, like the mood, I'm just like, I don't want to do anything. Um, and I want to get snacky and I realized, I realized that I am PMSing. I'm about to start my period and probably this next week. I got to look at my tracker to know exactly when, but I was like, no wonder I'm like having all these cravings. Like, so I just got to get through this week because I'm four weeks out. Technically tomorrow I'm four weeks out. That gets me to a three week out check-in, a two week out check-in, a peak week check-in. I'm like, Andrea, you only have three more check-ins. Like just get, because that's how I, I like take these things in check-ins like okay this check-in was good what are we going to do between now and next check-in to make sure your next check-in is good okay what are we going to do between now and next check-in like that's kind of how I mentally break this up um is like just get to the next check-in just get to the next check-in just get to the next check-in um so even though like I weigh myself and I do like take some pictures or at least two quarter turns every day I try to play like the week long just survive this week have a great week um you know maybe I'm not hitting a new low tomorrow but as long as I lose weight on my next check-in because even though I didn't even this week I was getting frustrated right like I was like I'm not back to my new low I'm not back to my my new low however check-in to check-in I did lose weight I just didn't lose weight from my new low which my low was the day after my check-in so I'm just like stay focused check-in to check-in you're still making progress like yes there are fluctuations but just keep your eye on the price you gotta push because y'all like I said obviously like you stay in your lane you focus on what you're doing but again if you want to go to the olympia you have to win so you have to strategize you have to know who you're competing against and you have to beat those people and so based on who i know is going like there are people that i i mean i'm going to be frank i'm not going to beat them in the physique round it is what it is and in I know two that miles people, take exit 10 for newport road i know that there's a lot of people ruben included who are like don't say that don't think like that like there's always a chance but here's the reality of the situation you guys i it, it's Missy's not on the list, but Missy is not someone that it doesn't matter how hard I work. I will, if Missy were at Van, I would not beat her. If Shelly were at Van, I would not beat her in the physique. We're talking physique round, like routine, routine, really anything can happen, but I'm talking about the physique. There are just certain physiques that I am not there yet. It does not matter how hard I work in the period of time that I have, I will not beat them. And there are some people like that on this list that I'm like, I will not beat them in the physique round. However, however, I still need to come firing because the higher I can rank in physique, if I win the routine, I can still win the show. 
And as you guys all well know, like the routine is my strong suit. The routine is where I excel. Um, and I can win the routine round. I won the routine round at Ben Weir. Um, I got close. I got third in the routine round at Chattanooga. And the judges in my feedback told me, some of us had you in second. Some of us had you in third. In half a mile, take exit so, 10 for Newport Road. I do know it's possible. And that's just what I'm like. I think my mistake at Ben Weeder was giving too much thought and emphasis on who was going to be there. And that impacted how I prepped. Right now, I'm thinking about it. And I'm using it to strategy. Take exit 10. There's so much going on. I'm thinking about it and I'm using it a little bit to strategize, but I'm not letting it dictate my effort. Like at Ben Weeder, I let it dictate my effort. Oh, well, I'm not going to beat this mile, person. Use the right I'm two so lanes to turn right onto Newport Road. Oh, I'm not going to beat this person. So it's okay if I slack. I'm not going to beat them anyway. Oh, I'm definitely going to beat this person no matter if I come in at my best or not. It's okay if I slack. At this the line, time, use the right two lanes to turn right onto Newport Road. This time, yes, I'm letting it, letting it dictate my strategy, like saying, hey, Andrea, in this particular lineup, like it's best for you to focus on your routine than to focus on lifts, like just do cardio and lift because conditioning needs to be on point, routine needs to be on point, you're not gonna outmuscle these ladies, but I'm not letting it dictate my effort, which is, well, you're not gonna beat this girl, so you might as well have that extra thing, have this extra thing or things like that. So anyway, I gotta turn off the volume on my directions and I think Reagan said she needs me, but that's all, y'all, I think. I'm gonna run a full out tomorrow. A real full out, yes baby. I did not run an actual full out last week. I ran my version of as full out as I was gonna go, which is no, I did not do my running tumbling, my run up at Kentuck, which is gonna be a full, but you know. Continue for eight miles. I only throw a full on stage uh, while judging. I do it one time. Um, normally during my full outs, I at least do a run up at Kentuck. So I didn't do a run up at Kentuck. And then I stopped with like seven seconds to go because I don't like to do back extension rolls on the wood. And I was like, at this point in the routine, Yes. We're almost there, Reagan. At that point in the routine, it doesn't matter how tired I am. That last literally five seconds. Yes, we're going to Hudson's house. That last five seconds, it literally doesn't matter how tired I am. I'm going to hit it every time because it's not any skills. Like, it's a kick and a round off. Like, there's... It, Yes, I should practice it because I should practice it. But at that point, like as far as getting conditioning, getting confidence, like getting reps in, like that's not something I necessarily need to rep out. So anyway, but this week I am doing it all minus the run up I can't tuck because I'm, I'm just not going to do that. She has discovered pork belly. She's tearing this pork belly up. This is like her third one. Goodness gracious, y'all. We are leaving uh, the party. We were there for, I don't know, we got there around one and now it's about four. So we were there for a few hours. It's a lot of food there. I did eat watermelon. Reagan ate everything. Cake pop. Yes. Okay, Rice Krispie Treat, pork belly, cake, cupcake. She ate it all. Um, it is so hot, but if it's nice, it's 102 outside. Yes, baby. Anyway, I was trying to get her out of there just because I was just like, just sitting there looking at all this food. Didn't know anyone, so I had nothing to entertain me besides watching Reagan. Anyway, it's Saturday afternoon, night. 7.30 p.m., but it's still sunny outside. Um, Reagan's at home asleep. She fell asleep on the way home from that birthday party, and she is still asleep. And I was like, I'm not waking her up. Like. I, my toxic trait is just hoping that she's going to sleep through the night, even though the chances of her sleeping through the night are so low and the chances of her waking up at like 9 PM, just with so much more energy than I can handle. I'm willing to risk it every time. Anyway, headed to do cardio because I didn't do cardio today. I trained morning, did that, went to that birthday party. Now I got to do cardio. Um, I will probably start with just a couple of skills, not like, um, not like the last time that I was at the gym where I was like running a skills practice, um, I'm just gonna run through a couple skills, literally like, okay, I'm gonna do this skill three times, I'm gonna do this skill three times, I'm gonna do this skill three times, then I'm gonna get on cardio because I just wanna get to the gym and get out um, because it's late already. Like, I don't wanna be getting home at, like way after nine. Like, I feel like nine is probably a good goal for me. Like I said, it's about 7.30, it's almost 7.30. I have at least, you know, I have 60 minutes of cardio, so that gets me to 8.30. Okay, less than 30 minutes of skills. Let's let's run it and get, get done. Um, let's see. I checked my 
flow app. It does not going to start my period for seven or eight more days. Like this is not my typical PMS window. So I don't know, like maybe it's just like, I don't know, maybe it's just life stress or whatever, but I just have not, I, I don't know what's going on. I just don't feel, I don't feel right. Like, I don't know how else to explain it other than I just don't feel right. And maybe this is normal for prep. Like I already mentioned in my last video, like I really feel like I have met the threshold of where I normally am not willing to push past it. So I'm like, is this what it's like on the other side of that? <laughs> but I'm not doing well. I'm not doing well, but I'm trying to push through. Van Pro just posted today, like four weeks out, like this is the part of prep that can make or break your show day or something like that. And I'm, it's just like, stay focused or whatever it said, but it was something that I needed to read. Like it was something I needed to read in the moment. Like this is truly the part of prep that can make a difference. And if I come in feeling ready or if I come in like just regretting every single decision I've made for the last four weeks. Right. So, um, yeah, I'm just trying to keep it together. I'm trying to keep it together. I have been extra snacky today. Um, not a perfect prep day. Um, I was proud of myself at the birthday party, at least, because let me tell you, those chocolate dip pretzels, those cupcakes, a lot of those things were eyeing me, but I was just like, Andrea, just stick to the watermelon. <laughs> just stick to the watermelon. Um, so, I'm just glad I survived that, because I, I, um, I almost didn't, I'll tell you that. Um, so, yeah, but like at home, I'm just like, Reagan doesn't finish her chicken nuggets, I'm gonna eat the rest of it, like I'm gonna eat the other, the rest of the one and then another one. Like I have eaten like three chicken nuggets and then, oh, the Trader Joe's sign is up, it's official. So I think that I mentioned they were putting a Trader Joe's and I shouldn't be doing this while driving, but here's Trader Joe's, that's my gym. But this is how close they are. Um, but that sign is, these people are literally driving by, scoping out the sign. <laughs> this is the kind of area I live in that we're getting excited about at Trader Joe's. Um, they literally rolled down their window and looked down. <laughs> Tell me you live in the suburbs without telling me you live in the suburbs. Anyway, it did look, it was like, I don't know. That was like a weird feeling of excitement to see the sign because they've been talking about, oh, that's going to be a Trader Joe's. That's going to be a Trader Joe's. Like they've been talking about that at least six months and they've been working on that, but the sign is actually up. It's like, oh, we're really about to have a Trader Joe's. This parking lot's about to be popping. Um, I feel like I just elevated my mood for cardio. That's weird. Um, I do, I don't really get down with Trader Joe's like that. Like I'm not someone who's like, oh my gosh, I only shop at Trader Joe's. However, I do think that Trader Joe's has reasonably priced vegetables, reasonably priced wine, more than reasonably priced wine. Is it, excuse me, those of you who go to Trader Joe's often, is it still two buck chuck? It's probably not, it's 2024. It's probably like six buck chuck. Um, that's like their Trader Joe's brand wine that used to literally be $2 a bottle. <laughs> We were drinking that like it was good. It's probably disgusting. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, why I was saying, I was like, I don't even really get down with Trader Joe's like that. But I do think that Trader Joe's has a lot of really good, um, like weird seasonal snacks, like weird snacks that you can only get at Trader Joe's during certain times of the year. Um, it's like very niche things like that, that I like getting from Trader Joe's. Um, but the Trader Joe's, the, the nearest Trader Joe's besides this one is in the next town, the town that I work in. It's not like it's that far, but it's far enough that I'm not just going to randomly go there and it's not on my way to anything. So I don't go there, but now that there's one right next to my gym, I'll probably be there more often. Um, anyway, I got an hour of cardio. Guys, I'm just not feeling this today, but lucky for me, one thing I say to my members all the time is we don't base our effort on our feelings. We base our effort on our outcomes. It's like, you don't have to feel like doing it. It doesn't matter if you feel like doing it great news doesn't matter um you just have to crave the outcome enough to decide to do it anyway so that's where we are just craving a very specific outcome um and we only get there by very specific actions and one of those actions is spending the next hour on the stairmaster and the treadmill I don't think I have the Stairmaster in me tonight. My legs are already sore and I gotta go full out tomorrow. I'm probably, it's probably gonna be an hour of the treadmill, which is a nightmare, but luckily I have a lot of YouTube to catch up on. I know what it is. I figured it out. I actually was just, I don't know how I didn't think of this. I literally just sent this message to Aurelia when her last video dropped. I literally said, like, I've been struggling with grief lately. <laughs> 
because she had posted videos of her dad. And I was like, this video was really heartwarming. And I had told her, like, I've been struggling with grief lately. And, like, watching this video, like, I'm in tears. But it was, like, weirdly cathartic. And that's why. That's why I don't feel good. Like, I don't even know why in the car when I was like, I don't know why I feel like this. I don't know why I feel like this. That is exactly why I feel like this. Because I've been struggling with grief lately. And especially, like, tomorrow's Father's Day. I literally just started busting out crying in the gym. Like, literally just sitting here, like, getting ready and just thinking, like, It's so weird. Anyway, that's why I feel like shit. So that's cool. Okay, I am back. I am on the treadmill for my last 15 minutes of cardio. I'm just like, re, not really re warming up. I'm just like walking at a moderate incline. Um, I did 45 minutes. So I only did two scales. I literally did one, two. Then I just burst out crying out of nowhere. Um, burst into tears. So then I was like, okay, I can't focus right now. So then I came and did 45 minutes on the treadmill. Then I foam rolled my legs because my quads are just like abnormally sore. Um, and now I'm about to the last 15. Um, and I'm recording this right now, but I am also just watching videos from my last routine practice. Just like trying to, just, you know, just watching film. Just trying to figure out like, where do I need, what do I need to focus on for tomorrow? Like for my practice because I really, I need a good practice tomorrow. Like I said, I've, I'm, I ha have been having good practices, so I'm not like, worried that I'm not gonna have a good practice, but like the closer we get, the better these practices need to be. Um, and also just because I'm in this weird funk, I just need that kind of win. Um, so anyway, just watching these videos and trying not to start crying again. Okay, so this is my normal. Nectar. This was delivered early. Iridescence. I'm gonna try to stack them. Yeah, we gotta go full out. I'm stacking them. All right, y'all. It's Sunday. Um, I am headed to Powerhouse. It's late. It's ten o'clock. Last time I went at like, I feel like I went at like eight because I wanted to get there before people got there. <laughs> Um, and kids club doesn't open until nine on Sunday. So I knew I would be there like before parents got there um, And it was fine. I had the room to myself the entire time now. It's 10 o'clock um, Kids club is open, but it is Father's Day. So I'm hoping people um, Are not at the gym I don't know. We're gonna find out. I really would love to get a full out done today um, But if the room is not empty I'm not I just I can't focus like that when there are other people in the room it's just not a thing for me. And I even thought about like, okay, Andrew, just go to Burn Boot Camp today so you can be in the gym by yourself. But then, of course, going to Burn Boot Camp, that requires figuring out something for Reagan. Um, <clears throat> because by this time of the day, like, uh, people are, like, our house is empty. Um, <clears throat> you know, when I go at 8 o'clock in the morning, I can leave Reagan at home because there's still grown-ups at home. But, like, at this time of day, nobody's home. <clears throat> and I know, obviously, Cass said she would watch Reagan, but... Not at she never said 10 o'clock in the morning, like I normally go at you know 4 p.m. or whatever. So, anyway, all that to say, I am hoping to get a full out done. If the room is empty, um, I ate one meal, I am drinking my energy drink, I have taken my supplements. I'm hoping that today, I <clears throat> my goodness, my throat. I am just hoping that today I am able to push through and execute the best routine I've ever executed in my life. Um, let's see, my stomach has been doing some weird things. Uh, so my weight has been up the last couple days just by like 0.2, um, like literally 0.2 each day. Um, but I'm hoping that tomorrow it goes back down because I finally um, went to the bathroom for more than like, I mean, not like I've not talked about this on here before. I had more than like a pebble come out of my body. So I'm hoping that we're like getting back to normal a little bit. I don't know the last few days. I think it's just like, again, I think it's just like the stress and cortisol. We're like not letting my gut be happy. I have been doing apple cider vinegar because I heard that helps your gut. I didn't really do a lot of research. <laughs> I didn't do a lot of research on that, but people that I trust have said that and use it. 
um, including Ruben. Uh, well, I don't think he uses it, but I know that he like tells his clients to use it. Um, and just other bodybuilding coaches, again, people that I trust. Um, Y'all gotta make sure you vet your sources. Like, obviously, like using apple cider vinegar to like help my gut when I'm having um, stomach issues is like kind of low. So like for me, I don't feel like I need to do a ton of actual research. Like I can say, okay, I trust you, I trust you, I trust you, and you three have said this, then fine. Now, if it were something more serious, I don't know an example, then I wouldn't necessarily just say, okay, well, I trust you and you said that, so that's that. I would like actually do my own research into it. Um, but I don't know, taking apples, apple cider vinegar shots, like I don't, I just think that's such a minor thing that I'm okay, like not doing the actual research myself. Um, so anyway, I don't know if it's helping or not, but I did go poop this morning. So anyway, I, I like, I just can't believe like we are exactly four weeks out today and I am nervous and excited and kind of feeling the way that I felt like coming into Chattanooga, like knowing that I have a really good chance to do well, but also knowing that it's going to be really hard. But again, I just remember like, I, I just remember what Aurelia said they have to beat you too like and so that's just like what I'm like Andrea you don't need to worry about how am I going to beat this person how am I going to beat this person how am I going to beat this person all I need to worry about is making myself hard to beat as long as I know that I am executing at my highest level then they need to worry about how am I going to get through Andrea um so that's just what I'm focusing on like not focusing on okay how am I going to beat this person's routine how am I going to beat this person's physique how am I going to beat the like Andrea, make yourself as hard to beat as possible, and that's just, that's what I'm doing, and so I'm nervous, but I feel really good. Um, like I said, I was, I have been struggling a lot with grief, and I think that's why, like, my, just, like, my mood was just, like, not great, but um, I, I think I'm, I think I'm dealing with it, so, anyway, Reagan wants a song, so I'm gonna put on YouTube. What song are we doing? What song do you want to do? What's, tell me what song, Reagan. I'll put on a song. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Let's go. The room is empty. Looks like just a bunch of, I feel like I'm literally the only woman in this gym right now. It's all guys. Guys don't typically use this room, so hopefully I get the next hour by myself, or at least like 30 minutes or so by myself. I'm ready to rock. I feel good mentally. Physically, I'm still feeling a little bit sore. Like, I remember why, because I didn't do legs last week. Like, not this week that just finished, the week before that. And then I went to the burn boot camp on Friday for full body strength and did heavy walking lunges. And what else was legs that day? Uh, wall sit, but I think it was the heavy walking lunges because I don't really do walking lunges that often. Um, and you know, when you do a move that you don't do often, and you do it heavy, you're just sore. So anyway, that's why my quads are sore, but I can move on from that. All right, warm up is done. Um, I feel really good. I played my little hype music. Oh, this is not a straight, it's driving me crazy. Played my hype music, warmed up all my skills. I feel good. Um, and I'm just gonna go. And what I have to tell myself, because I mentioned this last time, but I have to tell myself I have to finish no matter what. Now, listen, if I make a mistake on like the first skill, I'm not continuing like period. <laughs> but it's like usually when I get halfway and I get tired, then I'm like, oh, it's over. But like, I just, I can't do that. I have to learn how to recover. Um, so anyway, I feel good. I'll tighten up these shoes a little bit more. By the way, there are other women here at the gym. Um, not that many. I guess Sunday morning is the men's time. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Um, like I said, the only reason it matters is because typically if there's other people in this room, it's other women. Like guys aren't coming in here doing their like Pilates videos. Um, it's always like women in here. Sometimes there's like a guy jumping rope, but all that to say is I expect to have some privacy because it's mostly guys here. Um, whew, I gotta pray. Then I'm gonna go. Huh. Uh. Oh my gosh. Y'all, that was really good. Now, there was still 
So one mistake, I have to address that part of the routine because I think I'm just super tired during that part. Although this is not a, it's a part of the routine that's always been there. And to be honest, I've never missed it on stage. But I don't know, I think just because I increased the difficulty on a few of the things before that, it's kicking my ass right now. So I gotta figure that part out. Honestly, I would rather change the skill. I mean, I'm not going to right now. I'm gonna give it until, honestly, I'm gonna give it until I'm probably warming up um, to see how I feel about it. I'm just gonna keep repping it, keep repping it, keep repping it. Um, Cause it's, I already know what the plan B would be. And it, it's not something I have to practice. Um, like it's, I can keep practicing plan A. I can literally make the decision to do plan B on stage. Like it won't make a difference. Um, and obviously no one will ever know. Similar to, um, I don't, y'all probably don't know, but like in my routine at Chattanooga. So I used to do the handstand split straight down to the hold, which that's always been a sketchy skill for me. But if I miss it, like if my toe taps the floor, my plan B is just to do two push-ups in that position so it looks like it was intentional. Um, so it's something that I literally make that decision in the moment. If I miss the skill, I do plan B. If I don't miss the skill, I do plan A. This is something like that. Now I can't really make the decision in the moment because if I try to do plan B after I already miss it, you will, you will be able to tell that it was supposed to be plan A. Whereas the other one, you wouldn't be able to tell. So anyway, it's something I'm gonna have to decide like before I do it. But anyway, that was really good. Again, one mistake and I could tell I felt tired. I haven't even watched it back. I could tell on one part, I'm like, oh, you probably look really tired right now because <laughs> you feel really tired, um, but very happy. Um, I could definitely tell a difference. The iridescence, I could tell because I focus really hard on how I breathe in my routine. Like each skill section, I'm like focusing on like basically just trying to execute that skill section. I know that's like, I feel like that's probably obvious. Like of course you should only focus on that part, but I try to like mentally and breath wise think like this is just one section. So like when I'm in my early handstand pirouette, I'm thinking, okay, you haven't done that much before this, just do this section without getting tired. And then I do the next section, just do this section without getting tired. And I try to control my breath that way. So I could tell by the time I was in like the back half of it, normally where I'm like <gasps> trying to catch up, I was like, oh, I can still breathe. Like, okay, just do this section, just do this section. So anyway, that was amazing. I'm gonna try that again, um, maybe one more time. Uh, I might just rub the back half just because I gotta, I gotta figure out that one skill, but I feel very happy with this. Hey y'all, I'm dying, so I don't want to film these people without their consent. I am anyway. But I just witnessed something so funny. Those two people, that couple, I just watched them, like, cheers their Rise Energy drinks. Um, it looked like they were tasting them for the first time. He had the Gulade one, and she had the, the Blue Sour Punch one. And just watching their faces when they tasted it, you could tell they were like so happy with how they tasted. And then she handed him hers, which was the Blue Sour Punch, and he tasted it and like turned around and walked away and took it. It was just really funny because I'm like watching them taste these drinks and I already know that those two are bangers. Um, so it was just really funny to like watch in real time two people taste those two specific flavors, like two flavors that I know are really good. Um, that was just really funny, that's it. Routine is done. I'm hitting intervals on the stairs. Um, I'm gonna do this for 20 minutes. Then I'm probably gonna do a 20 minute uh, quick camp, like burn boot camp on demand. And then I'll finish with 20 minutes on the stairs or on a treadmill. Uh, then I'm gonna post with Taco. Um, one of her parents, so Taco's a cheer coach. She works um, for my brother. Um, one of the parents of the kids, one of the kids she coaches, booked her a posing session, like paid for a posing session for her with Sean. So she did a posing session with Sean, and then I'm just gonna basically help her condition it so she doesn't have to keep paying for sessions with Sean. Like, I just told her, like, whatever Sean told you, that's what I'm gonna, like, that's, I'm basically just gonna enforce that for you. Like, let's practice it, let's hold it. Um, and if I see anything that I'm like, I know Sean didn't tell you that, like, and you just forgot or something, then I'll try to fix it. But my cardio, then posing a taco. Um, so it is Father's Day, obviously. Um, I really, wanted to go um, to San Diego to see my dad's um, 
great side. I just don't know if I can do that today. Um, part of me is like, part of me really wants to, right? It's Father's Day. I want to go do that. Um, but part of me is like, I don't know if I have the emotional capacity for that today. And then another part of me is like, yeah, but like, I don't know, this is maybe really dark, but I'm like, yeah, it's your first Father's Day without him, but like, it's his first Father's Day. Like, I don't want him to be alone on Father's Day. I don't know. It's really weird. I know I mentioned yesterday, like, grief is just so weird. Like, I don't know. So, I might go down. Um, I might save it for a day that's a little bit less, um, a little bit less than home. Uh, okay, good morning, everybody. I just finished. This is why I wear headbands. And I know some of you are probably thinking, maybe this is because you wear headbands. Um, maybe. <laughs> Not gonna stop me. Um, just finished cardio. I just did 25 minutes. My back is hurting. That treadmill is not like I, it, that treadmill is not the business. Um, and I haven't really tried to address the Peloton issue since the last time. Um, so anyway, I just did 25 minutes because I have boot camp cardio today. So I didn't need to do a full hour on the treadmill and there was no way I was going to get through that. Like I was watching Shantae's video and it was 34 minutes long. So I was like, okay, cool. I'll just like watch this YouTube video. But my back was like, no, ma'am, you're not going to stay on this treadmill this long. Um, so I, it's like not level. I can feel that it's like this. Um, like I said, in our old garage in Tennessee, we had like a mat underneath it. So, well, I don't know if that's why it wasn't, if that's why it's crooked, but at least like on the mat, it takes the impact on this floor. It's like, like I can feel it. Like, I don't know. Anyway. Cardio is done. That was 135.6 this morning. So I've been 135.6 three days in a row or two days in a row. I think it was, I don't know. I've been 135 point something. Um, basically, this is the lowest that it's gotten since, let's see. Okay, I had my check in. It was like 134 point something, right? Remember I said it was like 0 0.2 higher than my low, but then it went up and has stayed in that up. Um, now, I did eat late last night. I was like trying to wait for Ruben to get home to eat because I like made him. I mean, it's a prep meal, steak, asparagus, sweet potato. But, you know, during prep, you just eat it, like, like reheated, right? But I, like, made it for him for dinner for Father's Day, but he was working. Um, So I was, like, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then I was, like, I got to eat. Like, it's already 8.30 p.m. And I ate this, like, steak, asparagus, and sweet potato meal at 8.30 p.m., which I normally eat that meal. I try to eat that meal because that's my heaviest meal. I try to eat that meal, honestly, in the middle of the day. Um, so that my last meal is something like chicken salad, like my yogurt and berries, like something really light. Um, and I also try to have my last meal earlier. So it was a combination of having my heaviest meal last and later than I normally do. So I already knew I was going to be heavy, heavy this morning. Um, but I was just like, oh, I wonder what I would have been if I wouldn't have eaten that late. But it doesn't, it doesn't matter. I did quarter turns. I got, I mean, I posed with Sydney this, this Thursday, I think. I got to figure out my right quad. Like, not only is it like, oh, actually it's staying on now, so that's good. But the lines are not going all the way up to my hips, which I think that I had posted. I know that I posted it in my story. I don't know if I posted it in my YouTube. If I remember when I'm editing this, I will post the side by side that Ruben sent me from like two check-ins ago. He's like, what happened to your quads? It's like, I, I mean, you can't really see, obviously. Okay, you're not going to be able to. You know what? Let's do this. Oops. Oops. Okay. So, when I do this, right, like, first off, you guys can see my left, like, the left leg, the lines come up. This one doesn't. Like, the lines are not coming all the way up. Whereas in this one, the line comes all the way up. And then I have another, like, shadow kind of right there on this one. There's nothing happening up here. Um, but there used to be. Like, he literally said, what happened here? there used to be um and I don't know if it's because of something she changed with my posture like she has me pushing my hips back and I'm like do I need to bend my legs more do I need to straighten my legs more like I kind of mess with it every time I pose like to see but I haven't like found it yet um so I don't know I gotta figure that out because again like my 
separation in my quads is one of the things that tends to keep me higher. Like it tends to make me a standout. Not, I won't say a standout, but that's one of my big strengths is the separation that shows up in my quads. Like, so if I'm lacking in that, that's going to be a problem. Um, I mean, of course I still have five pounds to lose, four pounds to lose, but anyway, how many weeks out are we for? Holy smokes. That's crazy town. Anyway, the whole house is asleep. I'm so glad I woke up early to do my, to do that bit of cardio. Um, I'm going to make my coffee, make my first meal. And then to be honest, we're going to see if Reagan is still asleep at like eight o'clock. That's in 45 minutes. If Reagan's still asleep at eight o'clock, I'm going to go to boot camp now. I had like planned to not go to boot camp until this afternoon because I was going to lift this morning, like take her to powerhouse with me and lift. And then we would go to boot camp later. But I'm like, if she's asleep right now, I'm going to boot camp now. Although I guess if she's asleep right now, I could go to powerhouse now. I guess it doesn't really matter which one I do first as far as bringing her. I don't, it, it doesn't matter as usual. Good morning, everyone. It's about 8.30, so I just said, I think my last clip I was saying like, oh, if Reagan's still asleep at this time, I'm gonna go. Um, so she is still asleep. Um, so I'm going to Powerhouse to do back. And maybe like a one or two leg exercises. Like I'll probably just do back and like leg extensions. Um, then I'll come back home and be home, you know, all day, do whatever Reagan wants to do or whatever, hang out with Ruben if he's home. Um, and then I'll go to boot camp later. Although realistically, I could just do it all right now. Lift and then go to the 10.30 boot camp and then be completely done, but I don't wanna, <laughs> I did not tell Ruben that I was doing that. So I don't like to just disappear and be like, oh, I'll be back in an hour and then four hours later I show back up. Um, okay, I just got to the gym and I also forgot to add that the list for Alabama is coming out today. I think they said like, oh, we're up to five, but I don't, the five, okay, Amber, Cerise, Savannah, oh, Kristen Morby, okay. Amber, Cerise, Kristen, um, maybe Danielle, De Cheeks, and then Savannah. So that'll be the five, man, I, it's so hard because we want these, these shows to keep having fitness, but like five competitors is not a lot, right? Um, they also offer masters 35 plus fitness. I'm like, damn, if I would have been ready, like if I were ready to be honest at this point, I'm like, you know what? I'm about to go hit the 35 plus. Like I'm out of that group of people. I think I'm the only person that is over 35. So I'm about to just go collect a check and warm up for van, even though I'm absolutely in no shape, no way, shape or form ready to compete this weekend. Um, like I would get injured on stage. <laughs> I've only done two full outs and neither of them were actually completely full out. Um, but I got until 3 p.m. Eastern to decide, like, do I want to pull the trigger on this? I'm not going to pull the trigger. But oh my goodness, y'all. I am on my way to boot camp. So I completely forgot one of my trainers was out of town this week. So I'm training for her. So I have my whole day planned. Like I was going to go take boot camp right now. I literally texted her, hey, I'm coming to boot camp. Go easy on me. I'm very hungry. She's like, mm, I'm in Virginia. And I was like, That means I'm training because the other trainer has been training all morning long and she we don't we try as often as possible not to have one trainer train all day all three blocks so I just knew I, of course I look at our schedule and there I am highlighted so I will not be doing burn boot camp for cardio today I will be going back to powerhouse to finish after my shift which sucks because I also have to train in the morning tomorrow um and I just was unprepared. I literally did not know that I was training until I was already on my way to the gym. Thank goodness I actually got out of the house on time to be on time. I mean, I'm barely gonna be on time. Like, We like to be there 15 minutes early. I'm gonna be there a minute early. But thank goodness I actually got out of the house on time and didn't like dilly dally around with Reagan because someone would have been calling me, hey, um, are you coming? Are you on your way? And I would have been, Anyway, didn't bring food because I was like, oh, I'll just do, I'll do boot camp fasted and then I'll eat. Well, not really fasted, but I mean, my last meal was a couple hours ago and I was like, I'm not going to eat a meal just to do cardio. So I'll just do cardio and then I'll eat a meal. And now I'm not going to be fed until 
several hours from now, I'll probably have a protein shake at the gym, but I'm just like, what is happening? And this really wasn't a prep brain thing. This was sloppy work on my part because I normally check the schedule on Sundays because I send out like a digest to my trainers on Sunday. That's like any of the training changes, like any of the schedule changes, any of the announcements I need them to make, like I send that out on Sunday. So I have to look at the schedule so that I can make that digest. And I didn't do that yesterday. I was like, oh, I'll just do it on Monday so that I can print it out at the gym. If I would have done my digest, I would have known that I was training tonight. I would have came to boot camp this morning and I would have been on time this afternoon. But here we are. Anyway, that's great. Okay, everyone. Sorry about this angle. If I was really sorry, I would have waited to start filming. I am leaving the gym burn boot camp from training y'all I cannot believe that I did that like that was such a rookie mistake to not check the schedule especially <laughs> that's hot I check the schedule every week like I said to do that like digest the weekly digest for my trainers and our schedule rarely changes like it only changes if someone's out of town or like has a special case otherwise we have a standing schedule and I still check it every week. And the one week we do not have the same schedule is the one week I didn't check it. So anyway, the afternoon went by really fast, but I am so bitter I did not do that workout earlier. Like now I'm bitter that instead of going to boot camp this morning, I went to powerhouse because I'm about to go to powerhouse right now to do cardio. And I'm like, man, if I would have come to boot camp earlier, I could be going to powerhouse to lift, which is where I lift anyway. And I would have been able to take boot camp because I took it this morning. But instead I'm going to powerhouse to go get on the treadmill. And I'm upset. All right, made it to the stairs. I actually already did uh, four minutes on the assault bike. I'm gonna do 20 minutes here, and another 20 minutes on the treadmill. Um, I'm so bitter I didn't get to take boot camp, but it is what it is. Still gotta figure it out, make it work. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk my music. Hold on. y'all i realized i never closed out this video so that's me this is me doing that because i've already filmed clips for my next video um so anyway it was a tough week i think emotionally but a strong week prep wise um so i'm happy about that like i said obviously we're four weeks out um and we are pushing just trying to have even more and more perfect prep days where we're not just checking boxes but filling boxes um so anyway thanks for rocking with me as usual love the conversations in the um 
in the comments. Um, share with your friends. Share with someone who has a lot of cardio. <laughs> um, and I will see you at check-ins.